Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly message for June 8th to the 15th. I am Charlene Lozette. If you're new here, hello, hi, welcome. I hope you click subscribe. If you are returning, a massive thank you to you for stopping by. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. Sorry, I'm still frog, eh? All right, let's see what's going on Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and our Venus. What's up? Papa Lopin? Papa Lopin? Is that a word? Yeah, we're going to go with it. Page of Swords, I want it to come up before. Oh, Nine of Wands and the Two of Cups. All right, are you working on something? What you doing? Um, the Seven of Cups, the Magician, one, two, three, four, five. So. Okay, oh, all right, okay, oh. Uh, we're going to get into the other cards in just a wee minute. I want to see this here. Okay, so here's the scoop. This week, there's something that you're working on, something that you, um, maybe it's an, a business deal, an opportunity, a relationship, a connection. There's something here going on that, that may um, feel a bit challenging or a bit difficult. Actually, it looks like a communication communication challenges is that the right word? yes like difficulties in communication difficulties in the way that people are receiving messages either the way you're talking or the way they're talking there's a lack of alignment remember we are in mercury retrograde so like duh obviously conversations are not the easiest it's really easy to get stuck in um um misunderstandings that's what i was looking for i'm like what is that word um, so I see that here, okay? It could be for some of you with your love life, like your romantic partner, person you're talking to, seeing for others of you, this could be work-related or just in general, like when you're having conversations with people, when you're having to deal with people, when you're having to talk to people, it just may feel a little bit challenged. Like you're speaking one language and they're speaking another, but like both of you speak the same language. Um, I really just feel like that's got a lot to do with Mercury retrograde going on right now. And I also think that this is an opportunity for you, Capricorn, to learn how to um, maybe look at things from a different perspective and understand that um, different people have different communication styles, just like different people have different love languages. Because I see in the middle of the week here with that Seven of Cups, you're really going to be in this energy of like, okay, maybe I can approach it from this angle. Okay, maybe if this didn't work, maybe I can try it this way. Or if this didn't work, maybe I can try it this way. And that vibe, like that vibe of being open to being able to communicate in a different direction, that vibe of being able to discuss things or view things from a different perspective or maybe put yourself in other people's shoes, Capricorn. Like that's actually a very powerful thing. Like putting yourself in other people's shoes will help you to manifest whatever it is that you are seeking, whatever it is that you're desiring, and it will also help you to get unstuck in your situation, okay? I really feel like it's about looking at different avenues and different ways that you could do things that will support you in manifesting um, the outcome that you want, right? So like, let's just say you're negotiating a business deal, um, but the person you're negotiating the business deal is not really understanding why you're wanting what you're wanting. Put yourself in their shoes and try and figure out if you could pitch it a different way or explain it a different way. The same thing if you're in a relationship or have a partner friend whatever family and they're not getting your point of view find a way to make it resonate with them um like honestly this is not about being manipulative at all but like from an emotional standpoint because of that cups it's like the the emotions um finding ways to connect with them emotionally or finding ways to connect with people emotionally where are you are you coming up um will help you to be able to get your desired outcome okay because i really see here that the way that you are able to persuade or sway people to um, align with you in these things that you desire this week is really about understanding their emotional needs and how, how you can flip the script in a way that is not only advantageous for you so that you get your desired outcome, but it's also advantageous for these people so they get their desired outcome, okay? And why do I feel that way? Because at the bottom of the card, you have the Queen of Wands, okay? I know it's not Pentacles energy, it's not your energy, but the Queen of Wands is really freaking resourceful. The Queen of Wands knows how to get stuff done, and the Queen of Wands is also very confident and has this way about her where she demands presence when she walks into a room, and Capricorn, it doesn't matter if you're masculine, feminine whatever gender you identify with this is the energy of the queen of wands okay 
when she walks into a room, she's the type of person where people will just turn and be like, who is that? Who is that? And so I feel like if you get into that vibe of like resourcefulness, charisma, confidence, kind of like standing out from the cla uh, crowd and get really clear intentionally in the way that you communicate, in the way that you speak, in the way that you're thinking and processing your words, well, then a new opportunity is offered to you that leads you to that six of wands, which is exactly what you want. You want things to go your way this week, right? Obviously, there's something you're working on that you want to have a desired outcome in your favor, Capricorn. So how do you do that? Right? You got to you gotta figure out a way to maybe uh, look at things from a different perspective. So I do see this um, working out for you very much so. Okay? I do. Um, I'm just going to put these back because, I, because they're all here. I really feel like you will be able to tap into that Queen of Wands. Let's do it this way. Queen of Wands energy and manifest the outcomes with people that you want. Okay? So that's great, right? Because that's what you want, right? So uh, I think that if you're looking at ways to get out of this funk, this nine of swords, or sorry, nine of wands, wounded warrior, defensive energy of like somebody who's not willing to listen, the page of swords, also defensive energy, also somebody who's like, who's like, fight first, think later sometimes can come, can, can be that energy of the page of swords. And so, um, for you, it would be, you know, okay, maybe I need to look at this from a different perspective. Oops. What did I do here? Waning gibbous, releasing gratitude, nurture acts of service. Yeah. Maybe like releasing the expectation and looking at things from their perspective. Okay. Well, I, I will support you in the long run. Sorry. One of the, one of the cards. Oh, Funny enough, it's the Six of Pentacles. So maybe for some of you, this does have to do with love after all. We'll find out in a minute because we're going to go into the love reading in just a second. All right, let's get some mantra cards here for you. After this, we are going to be moving into the love reading, all right? So if you are interested in booking a live one-hour reading or want to shop over at Starseed Jewels, pick up your modern-day amulets. I'm wearing ETL, uh, Divina, to tap into divine feminine energy, Priestess, to connect with the divine energy, okay, to be able to connect with the psychic um, uh, abilities that we all have, or Aphrodite to vibrate at the frequency of love. There's a bunch of other pieces. I'm wearing some protective pieces here, my little ojo. Um, and then, yeah, there's necklaces, all sorts of things. There's also gender fluid pieces as well. And it's Father's Day, so there's a sale going on on the site, 15% off. You can shop in the description box below. So yeah, you got discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. <laughs> Yeah, I, I really feel like you're going to have this way about you this week, Capricorn. But the like the secret ingredient to the success in all this is really putting yourself in other people's shoes. Okay, um, I, I feel like I feel like you kind of know that already, and maybe just maybe you're waiting for some sort of confirmation or something. Well, if if you were, this is it. Okay. This is the confirmation. All right, let's get into your love reading. If you want to book a live one hour shop at Starcy Jewels, take a look at the description box below. Okay, I don't do any reversals. Mm. Attraction, you, you attract your romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And then what do we got? Um, religious upbringing, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path and calling in your soulmates. For others of you, why am I singing a Christmas song? Maybe some of you will find your soulmate around Christmas, or you did, but no, I feel like this is for those of you that are looking for love. Capricorn, when I look at the Two of Cups and I read this as a like purely love reading, which I'll go in, in more depth here, again, that religious factors, that discipline, it, it's something that you're working on right now in order to attract the love that you desire and, and also to like get unstuck. Honestly, so that like things that you feel are not fluid or not like flowing properly will be able to flow properly after this. Okay, we got the Ace of Pentacles for attraction. We got the Knight of Swords. Yeah, it, it's about kind of getting out of your own head and also that energy of like talk first, think later. 
um, getting out of that. And then the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, understanding like the ebb and flow of energy um, that you got to put work in in order to receive things. And then the Fool calling in your soulmate. I really feel like this is a week. Yeah, Five of Pentacles at the bottom or Five of Cups. Like, yeah, this is a week of you transitioning from lack and from maybe recognizing why things aren't working out to going, oh, maybe there's this opportunity for me to make things work out if I take it in this direction instead. All right. Okay, Capricorn, that is your reading. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes, and thank you for booking or shopping over at Star Sea Jewels. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.